Hi, and welcome to another episode of Sit and Spin with me, your host, Joe. Tonight on the show, one of my favorite modern bands from Canada, and I would be talking, of course, about Sloan and their new album, Commonwealth. Sloan, of course, is based out of Toronto, originally by way of Halifax, Nova Scotia. They have been together for 23 years with the same lineup. Got their start back in 1991. The band consists of Chris Murphy on lead vocals and bass, Patrick Pentland on lead vocals and lead guitar, Jay Ferguson on lead vocals and guitar, Andrew Scott on lead vocals and drums. And that's right, everybody in this band sings and everybody also writes. Uh, each band members contribute a minimum of two songs to every record, or almost every record. And generally, the vocal splits about 30, 30, 10, with Andrew Scott usually not singing the most the drummer. But everybody can also play different instruments too, and when Andrew Scott takes over to play guitar or singing, Chris Murphy will switch from bass to drums, Jay Ferguson will switch from guitar to bass, and just all mix it up. It's really cool. Not the first band to do that, but one of the few bands to do, of course, the, you know, the Beatles did that originally, Kiss, The Eagles, some of the few other bands that are out there, but a handful of them mostly, but one of the few bands that are going out there, especially modern, that still does the same thing now. The band got started in 1992 with their first EP, the Peppermint EP. They released their debut album, Smeared, originally on Geffen Records. They also have their own label, Murder Records, in Canada. They, removed, they released their follow-up, Twice Removed, which was twice voted best Canadian album of all time in a reader's poll in Chart Magazine up in Canada. That says a lot right there. They've since released nine studio albums and one live album, and along with Commonwealth, two of them have been double album sets. Uh, the band's a rock band, but they kind of, you know, also considered alt-rock. They dabble in power pop and punk influences kind of mixed throughout the albums as well. Their last album, The Double Cross, was my favorite record of 2012, and most of their records have ranked pretty high in the charts, my yearly top 20 best of the year. And this album is really cool in a lot of ways. Uh, it's double record sets. Comes a nice hard card slot, gateful cover. Here's the boys right now. Chris Murphy, Patrick Pentland, Jay Ferguson, and Andrew Scott, and some friends in the background. But it's a really nice presentation, cool looking album cover. And you can see on the front, there's little card pictures of each of the band members and each a different suit of cards. And that's what's one of the interesting things about this record is it is each side is a solo suite from each one of the band members and each is represented by one of the suits of cards here so you get side one is diamond jay ferguson's side which is five tracks jay's stuff tends to be a little bit which is what we're hearing right now tends to be a little bit more uh light and pretty uh beatlesque with like string sections and stuff but uh, jay is really really shined especially on the last few records on this album stuff is just awesome uh, I like the track you're hearing right now. You've got a lot in your mind. is a really representative of stuff. But he also throws out some pretty ballads like Three Sisters, which opens with a real nice Carol Kay, Beach Boys inspired bass line from Chris Murphy. It's really cool. But uh, great stuff from Jay leading off the first side of the album. Side two, or the heart side, is Chris Murphy, bass player's uh, side of the album. Chris tends to mine some of the same territory that Jay mines. Uh, very power poppy, very Beatlesque and stuff, but tends to add a bit more rock into his stuff too. Uh, I really like the songs from Jay's side, Get Out, Carried Away, and You Don't ex Need Excuses to Be Good. Uh, Chris's side is also real stellar. When you get to side three, which is the Shamrock or Clubs as it's often called, that's Patrick Pentland's side, and immediately you notice a difference uh, with the harder edge guitars coming a little bit more of a punky edge. Uh, Patrick definitely influenced by the more hard rock side of the band. And the first song on the uh, on his side, 13 and Under a Bad Sign, just those guitars just kick right in. It's awesome. And the, the opening single from the album, Keep Swinging Downtown, is also in Patrick's side. But Patrick can also throw a beautiful ballad out of the way, kind of like with the spacey, atmospheric, what's inside kind of anything. Uh, on this album. And then you get to side four, which is Andrew Scott's side, or the Spade side, and it is a 17 plus minute opus, all one song, and it starts off with just random percussion and discordant instruments, a dog barking in the background, 
Andrew's one of the band members' dogs in the background. And it goes in for a couple minutes before it gets into what pretty much resembles a song. And it's just mad genius, cool stuff. But if you've never checked out Sloan, The Commonwealth, a great starting point. I highly recommend going back and getting any of their records. They're all great. But awesome new effort from Sloan, The Commonwealth, out now. And what's cool about this record, real bargain. If you buy it on vinyl, not only do you get the double vinyl set, they also throw in a copy of the CD for free and a digital download of the album. Usually you're lucky if you get one of those two things. Usually when vinyl first started making a comeback, a lot of times they include in the CD, then it kind of switched over to digital download. But Sloan gives you all three. It's a great value, great deal. Awesome to have Sloan back making great music. This one's probably going to rank real high up on my top here and listen to. Uh, and that is all I got for you this week. Hopefully you're checking out my good friend Scott over in Righteous Vinyl, as well as the Riff of the Day guys. Next week, I feel like I'm kind of stuck in Power Pop land lately, because I feel like the last four or five things we've done have all been somewhat Power Pop related. Another one for you next week, uh, really cool Irish band. More on them. Tune in to find out who I'm talking about later, and we will see you next time on Sit and Spin. Take it easy. should have mentioned too that uh, their latest album as well as their last few are is on Yep Rock Records here in the U.S. It's Murder Records in the band's own country of Canada, but in the States, maybe in the other territories, countries, Yep Rock Records for the new Saloon Records.